What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. It's been a little while since I made a video. Summer has still been really busy. Things are starting to slow down a little bit, but I got a little present in the mail, which I thought was so amazing. Um, a fan of the channel, but also a fellow YouTuber who has an awesome channel, puts out a lot of great content, and also just a nice friend as well. Uh, I've known this guy for a little while now. Uh, we've done some interactions together. I sold him some stuff, uh, you know, and now he sent me some stuff. And we've always uh, commented on each other's videos. He puts out great stuff for sure. So I got a nice little gift in the mail, a little letter. And it was just out of nowhere, just a nice little surprise. So uh, he did send a nice little letter here. I'm not going to read it out loud. It's just really nice stuff that he wrote. Uh, saying that he was a fan of my channel and he appreciates what I do and of course I'm a fan of his channel and I pre appreciate what he does as well and who we're talking about today is the Potter Stacker he sent me this really cool sticker uh, in God we trust he's got his little logo there little YouTube subscribe button so Potter Stacker, super cool guy. He puts out great videos. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Definitely check him out. Give him a like. Give him a sub. I mean, he puts out really great videos. Uh, he goes out to... He's very similar to what I do. He goes out to like flea markets and yard sales and different coin shows. And he's always looking for the deals. Uh, he's a big fan of foreign junk silver, especially Canadian silver, which, of course, as you know, I am as well. And he's just a big stacker. He loves numismatics. But definitely check him out. You'll find out exactly what he's all about on his YouTube channel. Awesome sticker. I really appreciate him sending me that. But he also included a really nice gift, which he really didn't have to do. But, man, what generosity. So he sent me three silver coins here. Well, the first one here is a one gram silver round that looks like a uh, a um, mercury dime design. Really cool. Take a look at the reverse of that. One gram, three nines fine silver. These little one gram rounds are actually really cool. And I don't have one of these mercury style ones, so that is awesome. And then he sent some silver Canadian coinage, which I love. Here we have an 80% silver Canadian dime from 1960. And he uh, kind of labels his flips just like I do. He has the, uh, the purity, the actual silver weight. So this dime is 0 0.0599 troy ounces of silver. And he also sent a 80% silver 1952 Canadian quarter. Really awesome with an actual silver weight of 0.1499 troy ounces. Really awesome coins. I love Canadian silver. I mean, you can typically get this right at melt, sometimes even under melt value. There's typically no premiums on foreign silver. And if you're a fan of U.S. constitutional silver coins, which I am, uh, you know, why not collect the brothers to the north, you know, the Canadian silver? I mean, I love the designs, and it's 80% silver, and... You know, you could also get the, the earlier uh, sterling silver coins, which are actually, you know, sterling silver. So they're even more pure than uh, the U.S. 90% constitutional coins. So super awesome, very generous gift from the Potter Stacker. So cool. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the little gift. I mean, I just am happy to get one of your stickers. I think that's so cool. Like I said, check him out. The link will be down below in the description. The Potter Stacker. He's got great content for sure. So that's my quick little video for today. I just wanted to give a shout out to my good friend Potter Stacker. And as you see here, this is my little tray. I figured I'd just uh, mention what this is since you see it on screen. This is my tray of counterfeit coins. Here we have some American Silver Eagles. And here's a 2022. And as you see, it just looks wrong. And it's funny too, it's actually a little bit smaller. An American Silver Eagle should be 40 millimeters in diameter. This one's only 38. So it's a little bit smaller. It's actually the size of like a silver dollar. Um, here we have another counterfeit. If I can pop it out of here, there we go. Another counterfeit 2020. 
And, you know, it's a shame that some of these do pop up in, you know, circulation throughout the coin collecting community. Uh, some people, you know, get burned on stuff like this. So anytime I come across these, I grab them and I hold on to them to make sure that they do not get in the hands of other sellers who may not know that they're a counterfeit. Uh, here's an interesting one, a, uh, a counterfeit Canadian silver maple. And just like the American Silver Eagle, these ones were smaller than they're supposed to be. Well, this one's larger than it's supposed to be. A, a Canadian Silver Maple should only be 38 millimeters, where this is 40 millimeters. So it's huge. It's kind of funny to see a big uh, maple leaf like that. So kind of interesting. Also got a couple ones here that I personally got burned on. How about this 1786 8 Reals? I mean, it looks pretty good. It's a really cool looking coin, but something about it just isn't right. It's a really good counterfeit. It is actually silver plated, but unfortunately it has a copper core. This is completely counterfeit. It is not real at all. So unfortunately, I actually bought this at a coin show a couple years ago. I paid $40 for it, which I'm like, you know, $40 is a great price for an eight reals. You know, typically this coin would sell for at least a hundred, probably more. And I thought I was getting a good deal because I was buying from a reputable coin dealer. Well, you know, a coin dealer at a coin show, which I didn't know who he was. You know, it was just another vendor at a coin show, but Typically, uh, you know, they're they're a little bit smarter than that and they don't sell counterfeits But I guess he was fooled by that one as well And of course you probably saw my video about this one the 1880 Carson City Morgan silver dollar. I found this at a antique shop I paid 20 bucks for it because it was inside of a belt buckle It was a belt buckle that held a silver dollar. This was in there I popped it out, I saw it was a Carson City, and I'm like, holy smokes, I just hit the jackpot. Because, I mean, this coin, if this was real, would be worth like two to $300, maybe a little more. And, unfortunately, we brought this to my buddy, Ed's Elegant Coins, and we tested on the XRF machine. And, unfortunately, it is counterfeit. It's not even silver plated, it's just copper all the way. This one I bought as well. Uh, I took a risk on this one because they told me I paid twenty dollars. I bought this from an, another antique shop, and check this out: double sided. The guy that sold it to me said it was silver, and I gave it a little ping test. It didn't sound right, and I had a strong feeling it was counterfeit. It wasn't real. It wasn't actually silver content in there. Uh, but it's really cool. It's kind of like that two-faced coin where you flip the coin and it's heads on both sides. I paid $20 for that, unfortunately. It's definitely not worth 20 bucks. but for the novelty of it, I took the risk to see if it actually was silver. I tested on the XRF machine, and it was fake. Uh, but it is kind of a cool little novelty gag thing. Uh, I would never bring that out or try to sell that just because it's it's counterfeit, you know? These are... Real coins are they're supposed to be real circulating coins, but they're not they're they're fake they're counterfeit So it's really unfortunate. Here's another pretty interesting counterfeit here an old 1882 Mexican eight reals Man, it would be a really cool coin But it's not real that is that is not silver And then man imagine if this one was real at 1795 uh, Dollar there man. That would be awesome but unfortunately, that one's a fake as well. Got another fake old uh, dollar here, 1804. But nope, those are, I mean, you can even tell by the design. It just does not look right. And that's in really nice condition to be such an old silver coin. Uh, a couple of these other things are just, this is like a random pewter uh, medallion. So that's actually not counterfeit. That's That's true. Uh, this I bought, I th was thinking it was um, sterling silver. I don't know if I can get it out here. It's like a Mexican novelty coin here, um, or Spanish. And uh, 1743, it's like a, it was supposed to be, you know, I thought this was a real coin. You know, uh, I read up on these a little bit. They said that they sold these um, at some kind of a historical site, like as a... Uh, 
like a novelty gift or something, but they were said to be sterling silver or something like that. They were supposed to be silver, but I tested that on the XRF machine and it's not silver, unfortunately. And then this one here too, I bought for a dollar thinking, you know, that's definitely not silver, but it does look like a silver round, you know, but as you see, it does say copy on there. Really cool proof looking Morgan, but that is not silver at all. I paid a dollar for it. Why not? It's pretty kind of funny. But these are just all my counterfeits. I uh, I hold on to them when I come across them just to make sure that I, you know, keep them away from the hands of any unknowledged, uh, you know, buyers or, or even sellers that don't know that these are fake. You know, without a XRF machine or a Sigma analytic, uh, you know, it's it's really hard to tell sometimes. I mean, you can do the ping tests. You can test diameters. I mean, some of these are dead giveaways that they're counterfeit. But like this one, you know, I've I've seen a handful of eight reals in my day, and that's a really good counterfeit. So, and as well as this Morgan, I mean, that's a really good counterfeit too. That looks real all day long. But I hold on to them to make sure that they do not get sold to, uh, you know, some, some, some uh, buyers that just don't know any better or, you know, don't have the knowledge to test or recognize counterfeits. So that's just a little add on for the video today, but I do want to thank the Potter Stacker, good friend of mine, awesome YouTube channel. Thank, thank you so much for the super cool coins and silver. And this is all real for sure. That's the real silver. And thank you for the really kind note. I really appreciate that, my friend. So check out Potter Stacker. Link down below in the description. That's my video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. And as always, have a great day.